Hi everybody, how are you guys all doing? I hope that you guys are all doing amazing today. My name is Tracy and I am the founder and now manager of Highlands Giving Garden. We are a community garden here in the city of Highland, California. And I wanna start doing these videos to share with our community uh, what we do out here. Uh, definitely wanna share our highs always, and then also our lows that we go through. And so, you know, when you're a gardener, it's not always, um, uh, rainbows and unicorns <laughs> and so uh, these videos will help to share what we kind of deal with out here as far as a community garden goes and so that's basically what this video is all about now as I explain what we are going through I'm also going to show you small clips throughout the throughout me explaining what's going on is that uh, we are dealing with ground squirrels and gophers. We are learning to coexist with them. <laughs> and so that's kind of what we are dealing with. Um, also on top of that is when I first started this community garden, I was told that the wood, which we used red wood to construct our garden beds, each one of our garden beds also has a wire mesh that is uh, laid down on the bottom of each one of our garden beds to prevent the gophers from getting up and inside of our garden beds. However, when I first started the garden, I was told that the garden beds, because of the wood, would only last between seven to 10 years. And that's exactly what is happening, is we are now a little over seven years old. Uh, our anniversary is actually April uh, 2016. That was when we installed our first garden bed. And I was told that they would only last between seven to 10 years. And so since we are kind of like seven and a half years, we are now starting to see the signs of corrosion, deterioration, um, where the wood is just becoming very, uh, kind of like a spongy consistency inside just because of the constant moisture that is inside the garden bed. So naturally, because wood is a natural material, it's going to eventually like decompose, if you will, and or get wood rot. So that's what we are dealing with. And on top of that, we are dealing with gophers and also ground squirrels. Now, when we built the redwood with that wire mesh underneath, that was to keep the gophers from getting underneath and then up into the garden beds. But what these little guys have figured out is that if they build a mound on the top of the garden bed and then build it tall enough on the side, then what they can do is they can basically get in through the wood uh, by eating that soft wood and get into the into the garden bed. And so that is what we are dealing with right now. So we are trying to learn to coexist with these little varmints. <laughs> we have used uh, bird netting to keep the ground squirrels out or any raccoons, any skunks, anything that nature has to bring out here. We pretty much have it all. And so um, we are just learning how to uh, manage our garden beds and the garden in general uh, along with these uh, visitors that come and so it has been a struggle let me tell you it has, it has not been pretty we have tried with several types of crops and they're loving it all um, but anyway so uh, with the with the wood we are hoping to be able to uh, change the wood and make it into more of something that is going to last a little longer. And so with this series, I'm, uh, what I want to do is I want to document what we do as far as a garden on how we go about, uh, fixing this problem. 
So I contacted a company, it's called Vago Gardens. Uh, I reached out to them and I explained to them what we were dealing with out here at the community garden. At this garden, we currently have 36 garden beds. We have uh, uh, 12 garden beds where anything that we grow in those garden beds, 100% of that produce that we grow goes 100% back to our community, to a lo local food bank called the Red Lens Family Services. The other 24 garden beds are for those in our community who like to come out and be a part of a gardening community. And with that, uh, with with those 24 garden beds, each gardener commits to uh, paying uh, a half half a year, which is thirty dollars, to reimburse the church because we're on church we're on a church property at the Highland Congregational Church, again here in Highland, California, and they allow allow us to use this land for our the purposes of our community garden. And so um, with the 24 gardeners that are here, they commit to um, either a half a year, which is thirty dollars, or if they commit to a full year, then it's only fifty dollars a year. And if they commit to a year, then they get two months for free. So it basically equals out to be about five dollars a month and again and per bed and that's just to reimburse the church for the water usage now as you can see we are not a profit making garden <laughs> at all so we rely on uh, donations 100% so everything that you see behind me is grown by our uh, by our community these are the community beds that are being rented out by all of the gardeners um, here in our surrounding area. So what I'll do is in a later video, in a later video, I will actually give you a tour of the garden. So then you can actually see what the garden looks like. It's absolutely beautiful. It is my oasis, if you if you should say. It's been my safe haven, my second home, especially during COVID. It was a place where we can come as gardeners and have our separate corners and still be able to get outside and enjoy the day. So um, anyways, I kind of went on a tangent there. So let me get back to the focus of this video. So yes, we are dealing with not only the garden beds fall, not falling apart, but they are starting to excuse me, they are starting to break down, plain and simple. And so we need to figure out what we need to do. So I contacted Vigo Gardens and bless their hearts. And thankfully they were able to donate four garden beds to our garden. Unbelievable. I am so, so happy. And so with that, I've already received the garden beds at my home. I will slowly be bringing them out to the community garden to install them one at a time. Because we have four, I am going to be uh, installing them in these four locations and they are all located in the community, in the uh, renter section. So the idea here is to learn how to install one garden bed by doing a video here and showing you uh, how easy or how hard it is to put one together. Um, to begin with, I will actually show you the process of what I need to do in order to get ready for this install. We will need to uh, take all of the soil out from those from that garden bed there are also plants currently growing in this garden bed unfortunately and i'm gonna have to take all of those plants out so that will be the first project is to take the plants out try to relocate them in hopes that they will survive um, then i will need to take the soil out and then from there i will need to remove all of the wood chips that are in and around or that are around the garden bed and then from there, then I will need to uh, basically break the current garden bed down that is made out of the redwood. And then once I have the redwood, um, there's that, that wire mesh that is underneath the, each, under each one of the garden beds. And so what I'm gonna do, the plan is to remove the wood and then leave the wire mesh underneath. 
And then um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to our local Lowe's and I'm gonna buy some more wire mesh just so then I can kind of make it a little wider than just the four to eight feet that we currently have underneath each one of the garden beds. Um, what I wanna do is I actually want to expand that a little more so then if in the future, I don't wanna say if, but when in the future the gophers want to try to get inside of that garden bed they're not going to be able to because they don't they won't have that clearance to be able to get inside if there was any any little slight opening so i am super excited i'm hoping that uh, with this uh, little series that I'm going to be putting together and showing you how uh, the, 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 the steps that we need to go through to get these garden beds installed. So super, super exciting. I hope that you guys are just as excited. And so once I get this very first garden bed up to see what is needed, how much time it's going to take, my plan is to have our first workshop with the community either later on this month or the beginning of October. So keep your eyes open for that. If you are here in the surrounding area of Highland, California, and you wanna learn how to install these Vigo garden beds, or you want to learn more about these garden beds, or you wanna know the, or you wanna see or know more about the quality of these garden beds, then you're definitely gonna to wanna to stay tuned to this channel, to the videos that I put out there, or if you live nearby, you're definitely going to want to attend one of our workshops because this is gonna be really, really exciting. And I really cannot wait for this new chapter to come into the garden because we have just been really dealing with a lot. So anyways, everybody, that is it for the day. Stay tuned tomorrow because the plan is for me to come out here and start figuring out, figuring out what I'm going to do with the plants that are currently in the garden bed. Now, like I said, I'm going to try to relocate them to a different garden bed, but chances are they're really not gonna make it. But I'm hoping for the best. Um, we have, uh, I think, a kale, we have some tomatoes. I think I'm just gonna take the tomatoes out at this point because uh, it's kind of coming to an end anyways for the season. So the tomatoes will come out and also a big plant of marigolds. So it will be interesting to see how these plants take to their new home. So anyways, everybody, that is it for the day. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did and you want to stay on top of what we do out here at Highlands Giving Garden, then don't forget to subscribe, click that notification bell. That way is whenever we upload a new video to this channel, then you'll be given a notification and you'll be one of the first to watch our video. So anyways, everybody, again, thank you so much for being here all the way to the end. Until next time, we'll see you very, very soon in the next video. Leave a comment down below too. Leave a comment, even if it's a flower emoji or a bug emoji or whatever kind of emoji. Let me know that you're here watching and that definitely helps our channel tremendously. So anyways, everybody, thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye. Until next time. Bye.